Happy Saturdays, cheerful viewers. We're so glad to have you with us today on Vegetarian Elite as we visit a lovely friend of ours, Joanne Rose. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my vegan home. Wow, thank you. The actress, model, spokesperson, and founder of Vegan Vision chats with us about her current projects and her innovative ideas to inspire people towards the healthier vegan lifestyle. Joanne's rise to stardom began as a teenager in Melbourne, Australia, where she was nominated to enter the annual Look of the Year contest by the well-known New York-based Elite Model Management. As she became more recognised, Joanne earned roles in film and theatre. It was during her first visit to the United States that she discovered her passion for acting. I began my career actually in Australia and I did some film work there. I did modelling as well. It was mainly the modelling in the beginning and film didn't sort of come to me until a lot later. It was actually on my first trip to the US in 1995. I was here as a visitor and I just soaked up the whole city. I just loved it and I naturally just being around people in the industry, I just already felt like the need to do more. So I went back to Australia, did some work there. I liked sort of creating opportunities for myself. I was always like, well, no, this is what I want to do. So I'm going to travel there and make it happen for myself. Things just started continuing and getting better and better. Joanne's travels led her to Los Angeles, California, where she currently makes her home for part of the year. The culturally enriched city has offered the blossoming star with many opportunities in the arts such as commercials, independent films and theatre. We had a really good run with a production called the Chicago Club Rum Boogie. It started out as a smaller show. We had no idea that it would get picked up and that it would have a seven week run and that we had people coming from other states and cities to see this show because it reminded them of the 40s, like people who had had that experience with jazz music, because it was a musical as well as like a drama. It was a great experience to be like in the production. As an actress, Joanne realized that she really enjoyed doing comedies. From positive personal experiences turning vegan, she also wanted to use her visibility to encourage people to adopt healthier and more compassionate diets. Virtually overnight, Joanne connected these ideals to form her own production company. I formed a company called Vegan Vision and the vision is basically the view of like seeing things through the work um, that I'm creating, which is sketch comedies. Um, I've also written a vegan children's book as well and that's becoming an animation too. But I wanted to basically reach out and teach people about the lifestyle, but in a fun way. I have very big ideas for it. I've had a good response from it too, which is really exciting for like an idea that just more or less came to me overnight. Joanne's first comedy, Data Vegan, is a hilarious sketch that exaggerates the vegan persona, which many can relate to. Laughter is an avenue that Joanne believes could reach and bring people together at any level because humour is universal. Well, I won't spoil it or anything because when people go see it, it'll be a different thing because it's being made into a short film as well as like a little production that I'm taking to New York for a staged reading. I have like a lot of goals for this in particular for film festivals and that as well. One of Joanne's more recent projects is authoring a children's book entitled Tommy Tofu Saves the Day. The story is about a group of vegetable characters. Um, so they go off into a forest and they basically learn a lot of lessons. The four of them sighed with disappointment and continued to walk. Perhaps she can help us, said Polly, pointing eagerly to the squirrel sitting on a nearby log. They learn a lot of life lessons along the way. Um, so it talks about what kids might go through like at school, like with mm -hmm. popularity and stuff like that. 
and basically they get rescued by Tommy when they encounter a difficult situation and it shows you that Tommy Tofu being that he's made from soy he has a lot of protein so he's got a lot of energy he's not at this weak character mm -hmm. so I wanted to use it like a Superman type thing. The book entertains on common social topics and also provides valuable information for children and parents about the nutritional benefits of a plant-based diet. There's a section at the back that breaks down each character, um, like a carrot, uh, lettuce and everything like that, and talks about what you can use it in, the vitamins behind it. So mm -hmm. kids can see that, you know, these are like good additions to the lifestyle that they may want to lead or are leading. This book is actually going to be in the VIP gift bags at the Genesis Awards this year, which is held by the Humane Society of the United States. For Joanne, a gentle but fun approach with Vegan Vision and her publications have always been better in attracting people's attention and raising awareness. It's a lot more of a gentle approach, making it fun for people, not um, being punishing and saying this is the right way and you better follow it. It's, it's not meant to be like that. It's, it's meant to be light and then they can make the decision. But the idea is please go vegan. <laughs> please do it. <laughs> Some people say to me, oh, I, I was vegan today. They're actually aware of what they're eating as mm -hmm. soon as they hear it enough. So I think that the idea of it is that people are going to be thinking more about what they eat and realize that they might be able to soon say, oh, I was vegan for a whole week, or, you know, this is really good, I feel so much better. So if you hear the word vegan enough, you're gonna end up thinking more about it and what you put in your body. We hear Joanne's kitty meowing. We're going to go and check on her and we'll be right back. You are watching Vegetarian Elite, on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our Vegetarian Elite special this week on Joanne Rose, blossoming star and vegan visionary. We just met Remy, Joanne's kitty. So pretty. Joanne shares with us how her love for animals is what motivated her transition to veganism. I became a vegan back in 1994. I was raised a meat eater, but that's not through anything else than just conditioning. That's all we were used to. Then it was in a cooking class at high school that we learned what a vegan was. We heard about a vegetarian and a vegan. Mm -hmm. And they said that a vegan just eats plant food. And I was sitting there in the kitchen in the cooking class thinking, it's plant food. But then it was only a matter of time I was a vegetarian. I knew to make that decision, the direct link between like animal cruelty and killing of animals. I was like, oh no, you know, I've always been a huge animal lover. So I instantly became vegetarian when I really tuned in to the fact that animals were being killed. Then within a short amount of time, I became vegan. I was like, how can I be a hypocrite and consume dairy when I know that animals are abused and I felt great ever since. I've never regretted it. I have a lot more energy. I'm not sluggish. I'm not putting any bad products into my body because it affects everything. As soon as you eat junk or anything that's not good for you, that's not natural, you end up just getting like mental fog and just like fatigue and everything. So veganism always was something that made me feel a lot a lot stronger and it's not a difficult lifestyle because I always balanced everything and just educated myself on it. To add on to her growing list of projects towards better living, Joanne is also the spokesperson for the vegan brand Nutiva, whose motto is nourishing people and planet. I've been like working with them for, I think since last year basically, sort of mid last year, and I love their products. Like I've, I've tried them all, so I know by example that they're really good for you. Most celebrities have righteous causes they campaign for. For Joanne, veganism is something she truly cares about and works tirelessly to promote. I always feel that if you're going to be in the public eye to it be at least talking about something you're very passionate about, as long as I'm teaching people and inspiring in whatever way, just putting it out there about veganism because I am so passionate about it because I've really seen the beauty and the lifestyle just with health benefits, 
just overall fitness and it's such an animal friendly diet and for the planet too. It's just so amazing. I cannot imagine not being vegan. She offers an uplifting thought to those who champion these same ideals. I've just personally found anytime I've talked to someone about veganism, they're the most skeptical people in the beginning. Within two or three years, they will come back and say to me, Joanne, I've gone vegan. Wow. And they say, it stayed with me. Something you told me stayed with me. I wasn't ready at the time, but I made the decision. So it just shows you that whatever you say, people are listening. As our humanity elevates in consciousness towards concerns like climate change, responsible green living, and compassion over cruelty, veganism has quickly become a popular choice around the world. When I think of when I first became vegan, it just seemed like such a word that no one understood. People mm -hmm. were like, what is that again? Or is that vegetarian? And I was like, no, it, it means no dairy, no meat. And then within a matter of years, it was the word vegan was just so solid. I see like the world definitely being more and more vegan, just even celebrities that are going mm -hmm. that way too. It's just incredible. We asked Joanne what the world would be like if everyone became vegan. Wow, to even think about that is just, oh, that would be such a dream. I really feel that if everyone was, there would be no fighting, there would be no war because you're now focusing on life and being happier and looking out for everybody except yourself. I just see tremendous positive results if the world was to become vegan. I firmly believe and I'm always hopeful that we will go that way. We are gearing more and more towards that just with the progress I've seen over the last 10 or 15 years. Thank you, Joanne, for having us over. We too share in your glorious dream towards this peaceful, sustainable planet. Kind viewers, it was a pleasure having you join us for a chat with the beautiful and multi-talented Ms. Joanne Rose. Please stay with us for Between Master and Disciples, up next on Supreme Master Television. With blossoming stars like Joanne lighting up our world, the vegan vision where people, our animal friends and other wonders of nature can dwell in harmony becomes clearer than ever. My name's Joanne Rose. Be veg, go green and save the planet. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ve.